Hello everyone. Today we have with us Mr. Naga Srikant, who secured All India Rank 6 with a Mechanical Engineering Stream in Engineering Service Exam 2022. So let us get some uh, points, tips, strategies from Srikant so that the future generations will get some benefit out of it. Congratulations. Srikant, briefly introduce about yourself. Uh First of all, uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, my name is Venkata Nagashtikan, and I have completed my B.Tech from uh, NIT Varangal in uh, Mechanical Engineering Stream. And after that, uh, I have been working in an MNC in Bangalore. So along with that, I have been preparing for engineering service as well. So uh, during 2019, I was preparing on my own during my college days. And I cleared the prelims, but I uh, haven't cleared the mains part. And the same with 2020 also. Uh, I have cleared the films, but I haven't uh, cleared the mains. And um, in 2021, I have cleared films. I have cleared the mains and um, I was not able to clear the interview part. And uh, right now in 2022, I have cleared uh, so all the three of them uh, with, uh, with a very good score, uh, sir. So you started your preparation in the BTEC itself? Yes, sir. Actually, what happened was when I was in, in third year, I was very sure that I'll get a job from my college. Yeah. And yes, and uh, so I was sir. yes sir <laughs> so and I was thinking we, we can do more uh, instead of just passing time in the college so I was uh, searching of various things what I can do apart from the placements itself then I came across this engineering service and uh, when I was in college I was very sound with the mechanical engineering concepts so I thought mm -hmm. that this this exam might be uh, a bit best fit for me then <clears throat> and since uh, towards the end of my third third year. I was preparing for uh, engineering services on my own and uh, I was referring some pre previous year's questions as well to get a feel of uh, what is the paper pattern and what is the weightage of each subject. So okay. the the benefit what I got uh, while I was in college was uh, I was more thorough with my concepts and actually that helped me to uh, get a better job uh, compared to rest of our, uh, our students, friends in my college, sir. And uh, in the same year, I have got a uh, all India rank of uh, 1100 in gate uh, from mechanical steam. Good. And after that, uh, after that, I have joined the company in uh, 2019 summer. And I, I have been associated with the company since then. And parallel, I was preparing for engineering services, sir. So gate 1100 to yes, sixth rank. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so great gem. Uh, but anyway. So with respect to prelims exam, Naga Srikant, uh, your strategy for general studies paper and technical paper in prelims, briefly, please. So I was, uh, from the very beginning itself, I was very strong in the mechanical paper and I, that had been my core strength uh, while uh, giving the prelims part. And it's not like I was completely uh, not focusing on the GS part. I would try to complete as much as possible in the mechanical engineering stream and then I would... Uh, try to enter in, into the GS part. And also if you are thorough with the mechanical engineering concepts, so there are there is one subject called uh, mater, uh, materials. So that is already there in the mechanical. So you don't need to Correct. again study for uh, materials in GS portion. And, uh, and most of the people who are preparing for engineering service, they will be preparing for G, uh, GATE as well. So you have the same um, mathematical paper. And uh, there are few more subjects like uh, project management, quality, these kind of subjects. So half of the syllabus is already baked in the uh, uh, industrial engineering su industrial yeah. engineering subject. So here itself, you are covering almost uh, more than 30 to 35 percent of the paper. So yeah. if you can produce the same in the exam, uh, you are obviously getting anywhere like uh, 70 plus marks. So and and again, you can study some subjects like uh, uh, environment. So it's a very easy subject, but uh, it, it takes a lot of time. And uh, I wasn't much focusing on the current affairs part, sir. Uh, so my uh, whatever the preparation was uh, mostly revolving around um, maybe f five to seven subjects, which I was mentioning earlier. So I was completely uh, dropping the current affairs part because the problem in current affairs was uh, the, the syllabus. I mean, the time you need to spend to cover the current affairs is very huge. And also oh, okay. the certainty to which that will be that you are going to get the same question in the exam is uh, very low, sir. 
so i would uh, so i would suggest like if uh, someone is preparing uh, don't focus or break your head on the current affairs especially in gs you can uh, allot uh, that time to the mechanical papers so, because you have the same amount of marks for each question so that's what i would recommend uh, if someone is uh, very much but depressed because of Regular yes sir yes sir how much time you are spending how many marks you are getting very good how many marks you got in general studies paper uh, in general studies i got uh, 81 marks sir and uh, in mechanical i got uh, 201 sir yeah very good very good so uh, whether time is sufficient in the prelims paper uh, for completion of say all the 100 questions in general studies and uh, 150 questions in technical prelims paper so it's uh, quite opposite sir in general studies you will be getting like two hours is uh, too much to complete 100 questions like you can uh, you can complete maybe one hour to one and a half hour but uh, <laughs> yes sir actually <laughs> you see in gs the most questions are theoretically based like you, you read okay. the question it's uh, it, then and there itself uh, it's clear that you you know the answer or not but in so mechanical time is time not is a not a constant, constant in, in the general, general studies paper. but in mechanical paper uh, time factor comes into play because there are lots of numerical questions you need yeah. to solve yes numericals so how you could attempt a lengthy numerical questions in uh, technical prelims without calculator so uh, so what i used to do is as soon as i get the paper i'll go through from question 1 2 3 so on so on so what i used to do is i'll make a filter like first question i just know the answer i'll mark it and i go to the next set of questions and if i see a question that what that i'll feel that it will be completed within a minute i mean let's say it's a numerical question i feel that it can be completed within a minute then i'll uh, i'll attempt that question but there are few questions like it will take uh, more than 5 minutes 4 minutes so i used to mark that questions and i used to attempt towards the end and also there there are some questions by seeing it the question you will feel that you don't know the answer so i i used to leave that questions as well mm. so so the benefit by doing this is i'll be completing the entire 150 questions maybe uh, maybe in less than half of the time so and here out of 150 questions you will be completing anywhere like 60 to 70 questions so you will be having uh, uh, around 130 marks in your hand now you will get a confidence like and you need to get maybe some uh, 60 to 70 marks in the one and a half hour so your con- confidence boosts up and uh, you can attempt the lengthy questions or uh, you can try to eliminate a few questions that you don't know by option elimination and all okay Okay, Srikant, are you confident about qualifying in the prelims after exam is over? Yes, sir. Uh, since I have been giving uh, prelims back in my college itself, like from 2019, I have cleared all the prelims paper, exactly. and uh, and uh, the the pattern of uh, prelims that is of op- uh, MCQs. So that has been my core strength, sir. Very good. So you have uh, taken our yes online or previously named deep learn general studies. Yes, sir. Uh, coaching for engineering services. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, how will it help you? Sir, actually, uh, since I am working and I can't go through all the books that are there to complete the general studies part. So, uh, the coaching, what uh, the faculty will do is they'll they'll crisp the matter you need to focus. I mean, if there are ten uh, concepts, you don't need to go through all the ten concepts. Like there, there may be five questions. From mm-hmm. the five questions itself, you will be getting seventy percent of the weightage in marks. so mm-hmm. they'll uh, structure uh, in a fashion that i need to concentrate more so so that help me in uh, a lot in the time management aspect sir yeah. because if i can say save some time there and i can i can use that uh, remaining time in other areas where i am weak at okay so you are qualified in the prelims exam what is your preparation strategy for mains exam i think so, you have taken mains live classes also from mm, this yes sir so actually what happened was uh, back in 2019 and 2020 there wasn't any uh, live classes or maybe i don't know there there used to be live classes and i i used to refer only the previous year's questions and uh, try to make models of what what could be the next paper or what from which concepts we, we might get questions but mm. uh, so the, 
the the problem here is in prelims you have uh, lots of questions i mean more than thousands of questions so you can get a fair picture of what kind of questions you will be getting in the exam but it's not the case with mains in mains you have a very limited number of questions and you can't frame what the paper might be for the next year so uh, uh, in 2021 i came to know that uh, as i started uh, online classes for mains so i have enrolled myself in the mains uh, online classes and that uh, helped me a lot uh, to clear the 2021 mains and 2022 mains sir very good so i have a question you will go through the previous papers say mains yes sir what is the probability of repetition of at least some of the questions it's a lot sir if you if you take last uh, 15 years papers and mm -hmm. if you uh, so i can surely tell that if you if you know how to solve those 15 years questions you can uh, score more than 50% not 50% i would say it's more than 60% of the next paper excellent. excellent great idea great idea so so practicing previous papers is yes, sir. very essential very essential sir and uh, uh, and the, here the problem is uh, you don't know what areas to uh, focus on Mm. just solving the previous years won't help you you need to analyze like from which concepts they are stressing more yeah, and you, where you need to focus so mm. they, regarding that you might get uh, more help from the faculty sir yes so you cleared mains how many marks you got in the mains paper 1 and paper 2 mechanical so uh, this year i got uh, more than 200 in paper 1 sir and uh, around 180 marks in paper 2 sir excellent very good score very good score okay so you are qualified for interview guide sorry interview personality test okay yes, so is it the first interview or earlier also you faced this uh, upsc engineering services interview yes, sir as i have mentioned last year i mean in 2021 i have cleared the mains as well wow. and i have uh, given the interview in uh, march of 2022 how many marks you got first time and now uh, first time i got around 110 marks sir uh, uh, i was I, i wasn't preparing much for the interview last year but uh, this time uh, the mock interviews and uh, the guidance programs arranged by the uh, coaching institutes that helped me a lot uh, this time sir excellent how many marks you got this time so Nine this time i got uh, 145 sir out of 200 okay. great great score because one, roughly 110 around 2 145 huge yes sir huge. yes sir yes, you worked a lot this time mm, yes, in in strategy preparation strategy for interview you may so uh, as i was mentioning earlier i have some core subjects which i am very strong at and i am very weak at few subjects like material science production so those kind of uh, uh, theoretical based uh, subjects so what happened last time was uh, uh, as i mentioned i was working in a company as you hear the name of the company you feel that it's a material science related company and uh, every time i used to get uh, lots of material science questions so i faced the, this difficulty and uh, uh, still i didn't prepare for material science much but uh, in the actual interview they asked me a lot of material science questions i was not able to answer those questions and this time um, this time during the mock interview uh, one of the mock interview arranged by ace mm. so same thing i uh, repeated like uh, they uh, they asked thermo thermo i was able to answer uh, most of the thermo fluid mechanics whatever the subjects so when they came into uh, material science and production i was struggling a bit then they advised me to work on this more then i said uh, sir i am not uh, i am not well versed with the subjects and i used to skip this all the time then they said uh, so you can do one thing uh, you can leave production that that cannot be a problem because since you are uh, very strong in rest of the subjects then if you are leaving production then it's okay but uh, you can't uh, you can't leave the material science part because uh, they are bound to get they are bound to ask the questions as seeing the name itself so yeah. then uh, i prepared for uh, uh, most of the preparation went into material science and since i was strong in the other subjects i was uh, revising those as well and in the actual interview uh, more than 30% of the questions were related to material science sir yeah. i answered every question of uh, every uh, material science question which was asked in the actual interview so the suggestion given in the mock interview yes sir yes. <laughs> and uh, what used to happen is uh, so while the interviewer was asking the question itself in the middle of the question i used to uh, guess what he is going to ask <laughs> and i used to prepare the answer <laughs> so because see all such confidence comes from uh, preparation yes sir see, sometimes 
questions may not appear but if you go to the interview with the preparation that mm. will boost up your confidence yes, level congratulations rekanta you got a total score 808 with rank 6 a great achievement huh? uh, thank you sir proud parents proud parents what is your father if you don't mind sir my father used to work in uh, uh, military sir uh, right now he is retired and my mother is housewife sir convey our regards to your parents Huh? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, suggestion to juniors. Last one. Okay. So, uh, if you are uh, working, if you uh, if you are in college, B Tech second year, third year. So, if you really want to clear the engineering service, you can start the preparation now itself. Because if you, uh, so some people know that uh, they need to clear the engineering service, but they don't start from their colleges. Then they'll uh, come join the coaching institutes, and after the college, and uh, this is simply wasting uh, uh, valuable time uh, from your college you can you can opt for postal study courses if you are thorough with the concept or else uh, right now uh, ac is providing live live close uh, live classes also for ac you can yeah, improve those also we have yes, 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 yes. Deep if, deep plan, uh, be, because of college course. timings and all if you can't attend the online classes you can you can use the recorded classes as well so, so you what want to say that uh, have foundation for any mm. competitive exam during btech itself yes sir if given if you know that uh, you want to clear the engineering service yes. but uh, if you are deciding to clear the engineering service after your btech or when you are doing job then it's recommended to join a coaching institute offline because yes. there you have uh, the actual uh, interaction with the faculty faculty members will be there okay very good srikant your valuable suggestion to juniors will be definitely helpful huh? uh, we once again thank you all the best congratulations nana congratulations mm-hmm. Okay. thank you thank you sir thank you thank you we'll see one once we'll meet again bye okay sir sure definitely sir